We begin today with an update to a show we did not too long ago on Catalonia's separatist movement. Earlier today, the stream received this tweet alleging the Spanish government applied pressure on a visiting professor at Georgetown University after her appearance on our show. Clara Ponsati, a research professor at the Institute of Economic Analysis in Barcelona, joined the stream in September to discuss mass demonstrations in Spain calling for an autonomous Catalan state. We reached out to Clara today, who told us she believes her position as visiting professor was not renewed due to her vocal stance on Catalonia. Take a listen. My colleagues at Georgetown heard, uh, you know, from the ambassador of Spain in Washington that uh, he, he was uh, uh, upset about my appearance in the Al Jazeera uh, program that you did after uh, the demonstration in uh, September 11. Uh, and about, uh, you know, another appearance that they had done in the media and, you know, that they were, uh, um, they didn't feel that I was fit for that uh, chair because of that reason. Uh, so, you know, my colleagues insisted that, you know, that they still wanted to reappoint me because, you know, my opinions were irrelevant to my performance in the job. She went on to say the official reason she was given was that the ministry wanted to open up the opportunity to other professors. We reached out to the Spanish Ministry of Education's office here in Washington, but as of airtime, have not received a response, though we'll continue to follow this story. Our next lead comes from Egypt, where the widely read English language newspaper Egypt Independent is shutting down, much to the dismay of many online. Following a reported last-minute order from management to stop the printing of its 50th and final edition, the editorial team tweeted that it would release the issue online. The disappointment online was palpable. Bassam tweets, Losing Egypt independent is a horrible thing for Egypt, the region, and for everyone looking for professional and principled journalism. Well, from unemployment to environmental journalism, the banned issue delves into the challenges facing Egypt. And government critiques were no exception. We're always on the lookout for your stories, so don't forget to share them with us. Use the hashtag AJStream. Lisa? All right.